1870. Remember the year, 1870. That's the year Virginia and Texas rejoined the Union. Construction began on the Brooklyn Bridge and Missouri S&T was founded. Of course, back then it was known as the University of Missouri School of Mines and Metallurgy. That's why our school colors are two precious metals, silver and gold, and our mascot is Joe Miner. Here's the deal. Your time at S&T is gonna go fast and you're gonna learn a lot. Like the miners who came before you, you're gonna be proud of this place. But right now, you're just starting here. So let's bring you up to speed on what's happened since 1870. Ready? Let's go. We open our doors. Yellowstone becomes the world's first national park. We have our first graduating class, three guys. General Custer makes his last stand at Little Bighorn and the telephone is invented. Thomas Edison invents the electric light bulb. The first Coca-Cola soft drink is sold. Some two dozen guys move into the first dorm, which is now the Chancellor's residence. We get our first football team, the Miners. Sigma Nu becomes our first fraternity. Students declare St. Pat as the patron saint of engineers and demand a day of revelry. That's why every March we paint the town green and have the best ever St. Pat's. The Miner football team goes undefeated, outscoring opponents 540 to nothing. Albert Einstein wins the Nobel Prize in Physics, and our Alumni Association is established. Research by graduate Mervyn Kelly leads to the first transatlantic voice transmission, and Charles Lindbergh makes his first transatlantic flight. Al Capone is convicted. No St. Pat's revelers were involved. Pearl Harbor is attacked and our school joins the war effort. Harry Smith graduates and goes on to invent Doppler radar. After World War II, our student population booms as GIs return to campus. Charlie Brown begins his never-ending quest to kick the football, and the minor football team wins the Corn Bowl over Illinois Normal, seven to six. Elvis Presley releases Heartbreak Hotel. Leela Thompson Flagg becomes our first African-American graduate. As the University of Missouri expands to four campuses, we change our name, and Alex's Pizza opens its doors. Another grad, George Mueller, leads NASA's effort to put a man on the moon. Five men are arrested for the Watergate break-in. No St. Pat's revelers were involved. Rolla graduate Harold Garner develops a process to speed DNA sequencing. The first Apple computer is sold. Our Stonehenge is named one of the year's top 10 technological marvels. Alum Ed Tuck develops the handheld GPS unit. Tom Akers, a grad and astronaut, repairs the Hubble Space Telescope. The Solar Car team wins its first national championship. Alum Janet Cavandi becomes our first female astronaut and graduate Gary Havner donates $5 million to help build the Student Center. Another alum and professor Delbert Day discovers a way to treat liver cancer using glass beads and the solar car team wins again. Our Engineers Without Borders chapter becomes the first in the state of Missouri, changing thousands of lives in Bolivia and other developing countries. We become Missouri University of Science and Technology. 300 pizzas are consumed to celebrate the 100th St. Pat's our third astronaut, Sandra Magnus, returns to Earth after spending three months blogging from the space station. And today, we welcome our most best ever freshman class, you. Congratulations, you're now part of the Missouri S&T family. More than 50,000 alumni strong. We can't wait to see how you'll write our next chapter. And it all starts now. Go ahead, it's your turn to make things happen.